imagine how terrible it was mm -hmm, mm -hmm. when like they didn't have a a place for us is when somebody's wrong we had to bring bring the the, the carps and put it i think in the stelling and wait for the doctor to come and do an autopsy no privacy no nothing it was terrible terrible to see yeah oh i remember you telling me a terrible one about a child the child oh joseph oh gosh breaks my heart to this day um this was in uh, the indians there eh? they used to live on our property my father provided accommodation and they were kind of supposedly protected there eh? that they were supposed to get free medicine from the dispenser but they I could still remember the night that one of the Indians coming and saying to my to mama mom Joseph sick and that's about all you know Joseph dying you know and it turned out that um, he was a little toddler about I don't know maybe no more than two he was Albertina's child, and um, so Mama asked what happened. They said, whenever they took these children, they had to distend the tummies. They mostly used to give what they call war mixture for parasites. It was a terrible thing to drink. And they had given Joseph this thing and tell them not to give the child anything to eat until he gets a bowel movement. Well, first of all, the child was starving. They didn't have anything to eat. But Mama knew that in a case like that, you had to give them a warm drink that starts the bubble going. So Joseph started with convulsions, and um, they came to call Mama and ask her. By then it was too late, but Mama went. And Titty May, this is, rest her soul, this was Uncle Rudolph's mother. She went along too. And she had apparently an enema, and they said they would really give this child an enema. But he died. He died. Oh, so now they had to they, they had to take this little body up to charity, and the doctor had to come in to do an autopsy. I could still hear Albertina wailing, "Oh, Joseph, Joseph, you know, leave me." And they did his autopsy and forgot to put back in his heart. I never forget that, but just like the Sacred Heart of Jesus, and they just put it on his little chest outside. Anyway, and then you know, no, of course nobody to appeal to. They went, they took him up. I think they buried him at Syracuse. Yeah. So you know, after experiences like that, I find it very hard to make a big fuss about the things I see people. <laughs>